Hi, my name is Marina Pio and I am the CEO of the Bank Media Initiative. I am also the head of program. So I basically work around partnerships and strategic growth for the organization as well as team um, growth. So bringing the team together and ensuring that we grow as a team. I work with other amazing young people like Regan Chimba who supports with the finance and also he helps us to do the Debank podcast which um, is an audio fact-checking show that airs on a weekly basis. There is also Edgar Matthew Karuhanga, who is our lead fact-checker, who really does investigations and content curation around what claims do we fact-check. Um, and also we are working together on the fact-checking curriculum. And there is Rukia Nabanja, who supports and really edits the content that you see on the different debunk platforms. Hi, my name is Bella Twine. I am also part of the debunk, and I work as a head of communication. Specifically, my role is just to make sure that our socials are up and running and we're increasing numbers and the people that get to watch our content are our target audience. So um, partially, I also do scripting for the video shows and also host as well. In 2020, the D-Bank Media Initiative was formed. Um, at first we were called the D-Bank before we officially registered um, our name as the D-Bank Media Initiative. At the time, uh, fake news was on a rampant because of COVID-19 and it had just happened. And so people did not know which sources of um, news to actually trust or if the main stream media was actually giving all the facts. And most times people were having a lot of mis information on social media, sometimes in form of memes, so people did not know who to trust and where to get the right information. So we were trained by the Africa Check and we became a team of six out of 26 fellows, Media Challenge Initiative fellows, and we took on the role of becoming fact checkers. Along the, along the way, we um, won a few grants that helped us um, become fully enabled to support ourselves as a team, but also um, get out there and meet other people and connect, network with other people, but also fact check misinformation in real time. So the issue that we're trying to tackle really is misinformation that is traveling all over social media, especially for the young people that do not have, um, they do not have the capacity to check what they are actually consuming. As the D-Bank, we also tap into the rural communities, especially those people that listen to radio programs and do not really have the ability to differentiate between what's true or false. So our idea is how do we then fact check in local languages so that those individuals who are don't, let's say, um, speak English or are not really on social media get to have the skills and knowledge to fact check misinformation and also be able to appreciate the uh, idea that fake news is a real human rights problem and it affects them and it affects every person in the community. Our vision as the D-Bank is that there is a an incredible community of young people that one, embraces fact-checking, but also two, thinks before they post or share any content um, anywhere, or before they even tell uh, their parents or their relatives in different WhatsApp groups, but also in different conversations that they do have. We have amazing products that we have been able to build, including the debunk bot, which we hope that in the future, every Ugandan will be able to add that bot on WhatsApp and and they're able to interact and ask us in real time if some information is true or false. We believe that we're going to build a community of trusted sources, people who don't just share any information but critically analyze it and if it's their opinion, they're able to differentiate that for the audience that believes in the content that they do. We also believe through our audio translations in local languages that all Ugandans who speak local languages are able to embrace and widely debunk fake information and I would say our goal is to really grow the debunk organization and yeah uh, exceed borders and become the first or best fact-checking initiative in Africa. So 
So with the innovators in residence, we hope that we are able to connect with more people. Uh, so far so good, we are already seeing uh, potential networking, friendships, and not just about work, but people that you can you know, talk to and be one with, people who advise you and become that community of you know, mentors. So aside from networking, we look forward to um, actually getting more acquainted with our work plan because we have already um, worked out one, but we need to know how we are able to uh, make sure that all those activities are achieved in this entire year from right here, right now in January to uh, December. And we want to make sure that every other goal that we have outlined um, is, is ticked off our list by the end of the year.